All of the things that I wish I could tell you Every time when you pass and me by I fall in love There's something about you I wish you were mine Hi everybody, so I hope you're well and having a really lovely day today. Today I'm coming at you with a makeup look slash Q&A video. I haven't done one of these in a while and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do one. I need to film some videos anyway, so I thought, well... May as well film myself doing my makeup for you. I went for a colourful look today. I haven't done a colourful look in a long time, but I thought I'd go for something different. So this is what I came out with. I hope you guys enjoy this video and carry on watching. So whilst I pop on my foundation, I am just going to answer some of your guys' questions. Um, the first question is, are you married? And no, I'm not married. Um, I am, as of very, very recently, um, actually single so no I'm not married. So next I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm just going to use my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I use this all the time um, so I'm just going to pop this on. The next question I have to answer is how old are you and before I answer this question I'd love for you guys to try and guess in the comments how old I am. Um, I find it very interesting when people guess my age because nine times out of ten people are getting it wrong. <laughs> so yeah leave me a comment down below of how old you think I am and I will tell you now. Have you done it? Cool. So I'm actually 26 years old. A lot of people think I'm about 21, 20 years old, which to be honest with you is an absolute compliment because I know that when I'm 40 and I look about 30, um, I'll be absolutely loving life. So yeah, I'm actually 26, which is terrifying because when my parents were my age, I was gonna be born in two years and they had a house they were married and I'm literally doing none of those things so yeah it is a scary um a scary sort of realization I suppose but yeah um I am 26. So the next question is what is your favorite and least favorite thing about quarantine and before I go into that answer I am just going to pop on some liquid highlighter this is just my sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator in Monaco. I've used this for so long, um, so I'm just going to pop some of this on. I'll start with my least favourite thing. Um, my least favourite thing is obviously, as I just mentioned, I've gone through a breakup very recently. So I think my least favourite thing is kind of having to deal with that. Not on my own, because I'm at my parents' house, so like I'm not on my own, but I don't have my girlfriends to go out with and just kind of enjoy myself and I don't do you know what I mean like I speak to all my friends very frequently and I'm very lucky to have the friends that I have because I honestly don't know where I would be if I didn't have them um not to get too deep but like <laughs> um so I feel like it's just hard because I want to go around their houses I want to take them for some food, do you know what I mean? I feel like it's very hard to deal with this sort of situation, especially when you've gone through a breakup really recently. I don't know if any of you guys have done that also. Do let me know down below. Um, we can chat because like, I know how you feel, trust me. Um, I'm just popping on my e.l.f. translucent powder, by the way, whilst I carry on answering the question. But yeah, that's kind of been the hardest part is just dealing with everything on my own. Um, yeah, that's kind of the hardest part. The best part, I would say, personally for me, is that I've actually been finding myself a lot more. So um, I've been eating better, I've been trying to work out as much as possible. Um, probably not enough, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not going for runs because it's just not me, but I do my sort of home workouts every day um, and I'm just trying to find myself and think about myself a bit more so yeah so that's kind of been the best part I suppose and I've been seeing my parents a lot more which is really nice because I didn't really see them very much before so now I'm just going to move on to bronzer and I'm using my bourgeois chocolate bronzer I haven't used this in ages and I dug it out of my collection recently because I was sorting through my makeup um, and I found it so I was like well I may as well pop this back on because I remember I used to absolutely love this um, back in the day. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this all over where bronzer would go. The next question is your favorite shop for clothes. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have got a few. So I know it's kind of cheating, I suppose, but I have got a couple. So um, as of recently, I've been absolutely obsessed with Shein. Um, I have just done an order for 
quite a bit of stuff from them um, and I'm gonna be doing a haul video so don't worry yeah I've been absolutely loving that website recently there is so much on there um, but obviously I need to see what the quality is gonna be like so when I film the video I will let you guys know um, what I think really but in terms of the initial interest like I've really really enjoyed that website a lot I'm just gonna follow that over with some hula bronzer and I'm just gonna use this as a more so like a contour colour rather than just a normal bronzer but I'm going to take my big fan brush and just use this. In terms of other stores, um, I really enjoy Pull and Bear, I really enjoy Zara, I really enjoy Primark. To be honest, for me it's not about the specific shop, I just like to go in everywhere. I love Pretty Little Thing, I love Misguided, I love Boohoo, like I just really look for different items as opposed to constantly go on one website and I know it's not really helpful but that's kind of what I do personally so yeah. Moving on to highlighter I'm just going to use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I use this all the time and I've had it for so long um, and I'm just going to spray my brush with some face mist. This is the calming body shop face mist it's actually my mum's I've just borrowed it so mum if you're watching I do apologize but I've stolen your face mist but um you can have that back <laughs> so the next question is if you were to work at Disneyland what would you like to do then and I think I would honestly love to be a princess I have a whole arm of tattoos now so I can't do that unfortunately but I think if I didn't then I definitely would have loved to have been a princess probably Ariel because she is my absolute fave but realistically I probably would have been somebody quite short so probably Alice now I'm just moving on to my eyebrows and as per usual I'm using my revolution um, brow pomade mine's in the shade blonde and it's like this it's a really nice cool toned color so I use this all the time every single time I do my eyebrows I always use it so that is what I'm going to be using today I use this product all the time it is my go-to and I really hope that they never discontinue it because I don't want to have to spend 18 pounds on the Anastasia Beverly Hills one when it works exactly the same so the next question I have is what do you do for work and I get this question a lot because I think that what I do now is so different to what I used to do. Um, obviously I used to work at Lush and I've worked at the body shop before. Um, then after that I worked for O2 so I was a sales advisor for a phone shop. Then I was the assistant manager for the phone shop then my manager left so it was literally me and my team running a store on our own um which i'm really thankful for because i could not have done it without them because honestly it was an absolute <laughs> show so yeah it was awful so now i sell it equipment to businesses um i do really enjoy it it is hard because obviously working from home at the moment um i find it really lonely it's really hard to concentrate it's really hard to continue at the rate I was going at um, especially because I'm quite new to the business um, me and the other newbies of the team started in October so we're kind of dealing with dealing with stuff on our own um, at the moment and obviously we have the help of the team via email and via kind of um, an online video chat but it is just not the same so yeah that's what I do I sell IT to businesses is the best way to describe it. So now I'm going to be using my soap brows brow soap thing. I don't know how I feel about this product, it is a bit odd but to be honest it does set your brows in place all day so I can't really fault it for that but I don't know, I just don't really like the application, I feel like it's a bit odd. Whilst I prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion I'm going to go on to the next question which is any tips for what to do slash how to cope with staying at home. Um, if I'm honest, um, obviously as I previously, meant, previously, <laughs> previously mentioned, um, I haven't had a great time recently. So for me, staying at home has been very hard. Um, I haven't found it easy. Um, it's been a real struggle. Um, however, um, I think it's all about finding a really good balance. It's about finding a new hobby. Um, it's about keeping yourself busy. Um, I know a few people that scrapbook 
and I really wanted to get into that but I just feel like I wouldn't keep up with it once it's over so I don't want to do that um, I just film now for when I'm like when I've got nothing to do I literally just film videos um, which is good keeps me busy and it gets content out which is good um, but yeah um, scrapbook um, you could journal you could write a book yourself you could read watch films download The Sims 4 um, you could if you've got the funds to do so get Animal Crossing on the Switch because that's an incredible game um tidy your room like there's loads of stuff you can do it's just trying to spread it out over the course of however long we're going to be in here for um because yeah it's a hard situation and obviously if you guys are struggling do leave me a message down below um i am more than happy to have a chat with you guys about some things but yeah it isn't easy and i'm not gonna lie to you like i've struggled a lot so it's a hard one you just have to think of things that you really enjoy and just keep doing them um sit in the garden get fresh air um the weather has been beautiful recently so yeah i would definitely do all of those things so before i go on to the next question i'm actually going to move on to eyes and i'm going to go for a purple look today because i always go for browns and beiges and it's just getting a bit boring and it's always the same so I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette to start and then I might go into my James Charles palette or I have a few more Kat Von D palettes down here so I might just dip into a few different things and go from there. Whilst I blend this out I'm just going to answer another question. So the question is, I see you have a fitness page, how do you keep motivated to help a sister out? Um, and I do have a fitness page on Instagram. Some days I feel like I am really really motivated and I'm ready to get my summer bod on and then other days I just literally want to lie in bed and I don't want to move and I just want to play Animal Crossing and eat chocolate all the time and I think everybody has their days like that like I don't think a lot of people personally will be able to keep up with it every day unless you're really into fitness like I'm just the average gal like I'm not crazy into keeping fit or anything like that I more so do it for myself I just want to feel comfortable in my own body um which I think is a very healthy way to look at it if you try and look like somebody else it's just not going to work and don't get me wrong there are a lot of people out there that I would happily look like um like there's so many incredible people out there but everyone's gonna have insecurities and everyone's gonna hate something about their bodies unless they are really secure about themselves which if that's the case then good on you uh, but I find that a lot of people probably aren't. Um, so the best thing I would say is start off slow. Don't push yourself into starting a new diet or, um, you know, working out every day for three hours. Like, it's just not going to work. So you need to kind of tackle it one aspect at a time. So set yourself a challenge every day and do something different. So maybe one day say, okay, so every day I'm going to start doing you know 20 crunches and then after a couple of days that you've been continuously doing it add sit-ups as well or add push-ups or squats and then just continuously add stuff like that um obviously it depends what you want to do if you want to lose weight it's all about a calorie deficit which i'm not going to go into too much because like i said i'm not really very well knowledge on that situation but you kind of have to eat less to does that make sense <laughs> I'm not really making any sense, but yeah, you just have to be in a calorie deficit, basically. I've basically rambled on for like 20 minutes about it, but I just feel like you just need to take it slow and every day you'll probably find yourself doing more and more. So I've just popped Meow all over my kind of lids and really blended that out as a transition shade. I'm not really sure how this is going to look at the end, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I'm now going to take the James Charles palette and take this kind of purple colour and just deepen up a little bit because it is quite pale. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. The next question whilst I do that is favourite thing to do in Disneyland Paris. And it's a hard question because I feel like I love Disney a lot and I don't really have a favourite thing to do there. I just love going there. I feel like when I'm there every stress I have is just gone like I love it so much it really does bring me joy and happiness and if I'm ever having a really crap time like if I was at Disney I'd be absolutely fine um so I personally I love to shop Holly knows this because Holly is literally the same person as me um we both love to shop at Disney we are Disney shopaholics we absolutely love it I love the ears, she loves the pins, and we could spend all of our lifetime's money in Disney in one sitting, I'm sure. Um, but other than that, I love meeting the characters. It honestly just, there's nothing like it, I feel. Um, 
if you're into Disney and you're into the Disney magic, like you just need to meet the characters. It's so much fun. Um, some people do find it awkward and I'm not going to lie to you, we've had our fair share of awkward interactions at Disney, don't get me wrong, like they're not all going to be great. Um, however, you do have some really great ones which just kind of mask the fact that maybe some of them weren't so good. So yeah, I really, really love meeting characters. Obviously I love the rides as well, but meeting characters just makes it so much more magical. I absolutely love it. I haven't put colourful eyeshadow on my eyes in probably like three years so I have no idea how this is going to look by the way at the end it could look absolutely awful um I mean I hope it doesn't because I need to film another video after this so I'm hoping that it looks okay but we're just kind of going with it and just seeing what happens I'm now just going to take the darker purple in the palette and I'm just going to pop that in my outer corner um just to kind of deepen it out this is so pigmented I literally just touched it and look at that oh this could ruin it Oh well, we'll just go with it and just give it a try. The only thing with this colour I've noticed is there is a little bit of fallout which I probably should have done the eyeshadow before the foundation but for some reason I just feel like I can never get my foundation to look right when I do it that way round. I don't know if that's just me um, but it just doesn't work. So now I'm just going to blend these out and I might just dip into the Pastel Goth palette again and just take a bit more of that purple shade just to kind of blend the colours together. So now I'm just going to take the glittery shade from the James Charles palette and I am just going to use this on my finger I think just so I can really pack that colour on. So the next question whilst I pop this on is what did you study at uni and I actually studied music. Um, a lot of people always find that really bizarre because I don't work in the music industry, um, I don't put music videos on my channel um I would love to but I'm just too scared <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm just a bit nervous but yeah I studied guitar so I can play the guitar um I've played it since I was eight years old so quite a long time now so I'm just gonna take some of the James Charles purples again and just bring that under my eyelashes for my inner corner highlight I just used the Thunderstruck from the Kat Von D palette. So now moving on to mascara, I actually mix my mascaras because I find one is too wet and the other one's too dry so I actually mix them together. I'm using the L'Oreal Baby Roll and the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So I mix these together so that is what I'm going to do. Um, but obviously before that I am just going to curl my eyelashes because otherwise they literally stick out so straight. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So for lips, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do because I didn't really know what colour I was going to do my eyes. So I've brought over literally a load of stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to use my number 7 lip pencil in the shade 20 Nude and my lip gloss from NYX which is the butter gloss in the shade Madeline. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not sure how I feel about the lip colour. Let me know down below. I also don't know how I feel about the eyeshadow colour, let me know how you feel down below. I haven't done a colourful look on my channel for a very long time, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye guys!